Tonight, a follow-up story. Last week, you might recall, we reported how scammers drained the bank yeah. account of a disabled woman in Harriman. Yeah, with no money left and her rent due, she faced eviction, but not anymore. WAT 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare returned to Roan County where he met with Carol Gatewood. Good news here, Don. It sure is. Uh, we have visited her twice since yeah. last week, and you'll see that in just a moment. Carol needed a loan, a small one, to pay off some debts. And in early June, she believed a local company that contacted her online was lending her money. But she fell victim to a scam. They're on the rise as more of our lives go online. Many who saw her story not only learned from her mistake, but also reached out to her. Thank you. Carol Gatewood, a disabled widow, will not have to move from her small apartment in Harriman after all. Precious, come here. A week ago, she told us that her Social Security disability check is her only means of income. At 59, the former nurse lives alone in a low-income apartment community. Her comfort dog, Precious, her only companion. This is the loan information. Wanting to consolidate $500 in bills, Carol applied for a loan she found online in early June. Mrs. Gatewood said she believed the loan company was a local business in Harriman. With no questions asked by Carol, the loan company sent her a check for $1,600, three times the amount she needed. They told me that they was, you know, going to do better than 500. They was going to give me a loan of $1,500. I thought it was amazing. I mean, I just live on Social Security, you know. Carol said the $1,600 was deposited directly into her checking account. She had given the so-called loan company her personal banking information during the application process. Turns out the scammers took all of her money. Unable to pay her rent, she received a warning at the beginning of July. If it's not paid, I have to vacate in 14 days. You're already late on your rent? Yes, sir. And how much do you owe? $260. Just several days after that story aired, strangers came to her aid. Carol said one lady even drove from Crossville. They went to the office and they paid my rent. Amazing things come from amazing people. Prayers go up and blessings come down. The outpouring of love and concern that people have, I never expected that. And I'm very grateful, very grateful. And I was already humbled, but it just humbled me more. Carol says she will be vigilant with what she has received. I will pay my bills and get some food in my house. Make sure that all of those debts are gone. Yes, sir. And you won't have to apply for any more loans. <laughs> no, sir, I won't. I'll never apply for another loan again. <laughs> We returned a second time with a gift from an anonymous donor. We presented her with a sealed envelope and the donation. Take a look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I am not worthy. He thought you were. $550. He wants you to have that. Thank you so much. My heart is so warm now. This will do it. And I will be debt free. <laughs> Praise God. As you could tell, she was very, very grateful, and she is debt-free from now on, and she's glad that she learned some lessons here. Uh, she learned if she's going to go online, right. that uh, better be a legitimate company the next time. And yeah. she's not going to take out any more loans, but she's grateful that others learn from her mistake, and so grateful that so many reached out to yeah. her. So many reached yeah. out through the station as well. You can see yeah. it on our Facebook page, That's and right. just yeah. another lesson learned, East Tennesseans just... They are always so generous. stepping up to help out each other. How about your neighbor? Wonderful woman. Yeah. yeah. Don, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send them an email at ddarewat.com. You can also call us six on your side hotline number 865-633-5974.